Hello, I'm Regina Ivana Gomez Quiroz. Welcome to my Physics 2211 Lab 5. This lab is Choose Your Own Adventure, and today I'm gonna go over a slinky, more specifically, a slinky that is stretched and is gonna be falling from rest. So before we get started, we're gonna go over the table of contents for today's lab. First, we're gonna go over the introduction, which entails the purpose of this lab, some fundamental concepts in our experiment summary. Then we're gonna go over our actual experiment and then we're gonna visit our math and code. And then finally, we are going to go over our conclusion where we're gonna go over some reflections and follow up questions. The purpose of today's lab is to analyze and predict the motion of a falling slinky that was previously resting. And we also want to explore the tension and gravitational forces and answer questions at the end, such as how does the slinky behave and how does this video compare to the model and what are some new learnings that we've made from this? Before we move into our experiments and models, we have to have a very good understanding of our, what fun, our fundamental concepts are. The first one being Newton's second law, which states that the acceleration of an object is dependent upon two variables, the net force acting upon the object and the mass of the object. Our second fundamental concept is gravitational force, which is the attraction between objects with mass. In this case, a slinky stretches out when you hold it because gravity pulls harder on the bottom than it does on the top. And then when you release it, the force of the gravity causes a wave to travel up the slinky. And finally, our third concept is tension force. This is the force that is transmitted through a string, a rope, a cable, or any other type of flexible connector, in which our case is a slinky, when it is pulled by forces acting at either end. In this case, our force is us holding it at the top. Then, when an object is suspended from a rope or a string, the tension force in the rope is equal to the weight of the object. The rope must be strong enough to withstand the tension force without breaking. And then when you pull this rope, the tension force in the rope increases. And then when you release the rope, the tension force decreases, which very much explains the behavior of our slinky today. Now that we have a good understanding of our fundamental concepts, here are some relevant formulas that can also help us in today's lab. As you can see, this includes drag force and the formula for gravitational force. For our experiment summary, our methodology is composed by comparing the predicted motion and the observed motion of the mass and plotting the energy changes that are computed in our model. Now moving on to our experiment, the first thing that we did was analyze a video with Tracker. Also disclaimer, this video was found on YouTube and I in no way produced this video. For the purpose of this video, our axis was set at the bottom of the slinky because that's the part that we wanted to analyze. In this case, our system is the spring and our surroundings is the air. As you can see, the bottom very much stays still until the top of the slinky reaches the bottom. As you can see, our experiment's results have some human error, but overall we can observe that the trend is that the bottom stays still until towards the end when it continues to fall, which is why we can observe a flat line up until the second 5.5 and then onwards it has a normal fall. Now moving on to our experiment model code, the first thing that we would do would be to establish our system properties, which in this case would be the mass of our slinky and bowl. And then for our calculation, we would have to define our initial energies, our gravitational force, our spring force on mass by spring, our net force, and also compute our momental principle, aka Newton's second law, and use all of these to, object, to update the object's position along with the calculated tension. Overall, this would give us a very accurate depiction of a model that would also depict our behavior of our slinky falling.
Overall, this was a very interesting project. I mean, ah! <laughs> Overall, this was a very interesting lab to think about. A follow-up question would be, so how exactly does tension force relate to our slinky in this experiment? And I guess when you stretch out the slinky and then release it, the tension force causes the slinky to spring back into its original shape. And then as the slinky springs back, the tension force is transmitted through the coils of the slinky, causing a wave-like motion to travel up the slinky. Thank you. Bye.